Make a backflip, Lebowski. When you come to the pool or travel somewhere, you may often face with the question, how to do a backflip? So this video will tell you what is the easiest way to do this trick from any height. Is it possible to avoid pain? And why is it better not to do a backflip without a coach? We will go from the pool deck to the highest platform, where I will tell you the most important thing. So check if you have already subscribed to the channel, make the full screen not to miss the small details and watch till the end. All stunts are performed either by professionals or under the supervision of professionals. This video is intended for informational purposes only. Don't try anything without a professional advisory. Hello, my name is Jim and I'm a professional diver and cliff diver. I received a lot of questions how to do a backflip from any platform. First of all, don't do it. The second thing, if you have some kind of a boat trip in, and you want to make a backflip, don't do it. The third thing, if you came to cliffs, don't do a backflip. The fourth thing, for example, there are some very angry guys showing you a gun and asking you to make a backflip. Okay, this is video for you, but this is the only reason you can do this by your own. Okay, let's go! Normally you should go to the gym, take the coach and go through multiple different exercises. But I guess most of you don't have those facilities. So let's talk about this extreme situation. Okay, let's imagine that you don't have any gym. Then ask your friend to help you with a jump like this. So this will help to feel uh, how to jump and rotate backwards. By the way, your friend should be someone who you really trust. Oh. And before we start diving survival with a backflip, it's better to try it from zero point. Not a backflip, but just a back dive. Put your arms up and make a strong push with your legs. Under the water, continue rotation to feel the backflip. Okay, let's try it from one meter now. When you come to one meter board, I recommend to do a backflip without any arm swinging, just the same style as we did from the pool side. Put your hands up, make a small squat and do a back jump. Better do it far away from the board. In the air, bend your knees and take a tuck position. Without an arm swing, it is harder to rotate, but it is much more stable for the beginners. Here the most common mistake is making your head up before the dive. Many people crush their head because of that. Don't be in a hurry. This mistake happens because people think they won't have enough time for the rotation and make this dangerous move. The right way is to keep your head straight and see the board all the way before you are in the air. Well, I hope you will never do so. And now let's make a backflip with an arm swing. Start with a small feet lift together with moving your arms back, then a small squat and the jump backwards with an arm swing. And then bend your knees and take a tuck position. If you do so, it won't be hard to understand when to open in the air. The key to success is to start the same as a back dive and then to bend your knees. It is better to practice more from a pool side. Okay, let's go up! As for the backflip from 3 meters, it is almost the same as 1 meter, but to do it a little bit softer. But if you feel really, really scared from here, I have got one secret for you. Take a swimmer's kickboard to feel soft. Sit about 15 centimeters from the edge of the platform and make a backward roll. That's much easier than a backflip and can be done from any height. Write a comment if you want us to make this tutorial with more details. So after this trick, I think it will be not so hard to try a backflip from 3 meters. But remember, not to put your head up like this, because it can be really dangerous. Again, I suggest jumping far away from the platform for safety reasons. At the entry, you can put your hands up or down. No difference. Well, guys, 5 meters is a huge difference in comparison with 3 meters. So here you have to do a little bit softer. Oh, by the way. You should not stand with the full feet, either not just on your toys. The correct variant is to stand stable half feet. By the way, some of the divers, they really stand like this. Okay, let's try a backflip from here.
from 5 meters you can not even touch your knees with your hands to make a tuck position. Just bend your knees and get ready for the entry with your feet. Don't forget to look up for our previous tutorial on how to put your feet. The link is also in the description. And one more tip before you go from 7 meters. If you feel really over-rotated during your jump, you can do one small thing. One leg stays down and one leg goes up. Let's imagine the situation when you suddenly start falling really fast. This is how most of the pro divers usually try to avoid the pain. Here it is not painful at all. Not to get a big back smack, I put my leg up and move my hands to it. That also slows the rotation a little bit. And one more time, it is 7 meters now. This tutorial is only for informational purposes and only for the guys who have a gun near the head and have no other chance uh, just to do a backflip from 7 and then from 10 meters. Make a backflip, Lebowski. Pay attention that uh, 7 meters is higher, so uh, don't bend your knees, just make almost the straight dive and don't make much uh, of rotation. Oh, oh, oh. The big problem is that here you have to control the distance. If you go too much backward, you will 100% over rotate and have a smack even if you make a straight backflip without bending your knees. Well, guys, the only situation you can do a backflip after these instructions is that you have a shotgun near your head. And the only way to save your life is to do a backflip from 10 meters. Otherwise, don't do it. No, God, please, no! Because from 10 meters it is a really huge difference in comparison with 7 meters and uh, you have to feel your flight. Because if you go too much backward, you will be 100% slapped into your back. And the main difference is uh, that you have to do uh, like a flying somersault first and then to fold a little bit in the air to make uh, your backflip completed. But I think it's like 10% to be success without some special trainings, equipment and so on. So please don't do it, just watch. There are many ways to make a beautiful backflip from 10 meters, but there is only one right way to do it. Take a coach. Trying it by yourself is really tricky. Well guys, I hope nobody will try this backflip, but uh, you can subscribe to Water Magic channel. It will be the biggest water community, I hope so, but it won't be the biggest if you won't subscribe. So subscribe and write something in comments what you would like to see next. And uh, subscribe, please. Ha, ha, ha.